everything about copper part 2. As promised in the previous video, I will show you how to synthesize cupric oxide. Cool. <laughs> this compound has several uses as pigment in batteries or as a catalyst. The first step is to dissolve copper sulfate into water. I was directly surprised by the intense blue color of the solution, so I directly tried to understand why. First, the blue color visible by the eyes is due to the fact that the solution is absorbing light from the red end of the visible spectrum. The resulting light, which passes through the solution, is a mix of the remaining colors. The absorption of light is linked to the transition of the electrons from one level of energy to the other one. Each wavelength of light has a particular energy associated with it. Red light, for example, has the lowest energy in the visible region. Therefore, to understand the light absorption, we need to understand the electron configuration of copper. Electrons are arranged in orbitals. There is a principle that states that electrons first fill lowest energy levels available before occupying higher energy levels. Copper has 29 electrons that we have to place inside these orbitals. Orbitals are called S, P and D and they have a maximum number of electrons. Filling the orbitals, you should end up with this configuration. However, the last d orbital is less stable when it is not full of electron. So the expected configuration is not the correct one. An electron moves from the 4s to the 3d orbital. For the ion, the atom loses two electrons coming from the s orbital and one from the d orbital. Copper is what we call a transition metal. Those elements have a partially filled d orbital or form ions with partially filled d orbitals. In solution, transition metal ions like copper form complexes because they are surrounded by water. All of them are colored, whereas non-transition metal ions are all colorless. So the origin of the color comes from this partially filled d orbital. When water molecules bond to the copper ion, it raises the energy level of the d orbitals due to repulsion between electrons. Because orbitals are not arranged the same way in space, it even induces a splitting. Here, each black arrow represents one electron. When the light passes through the solution, the red light is absorbed because its energy corresponds to the gap between the levels, promoting one electron to the upper set. This is for copper in solution, but the gap between the d orbitals will depend on the element and the ligand, so the spectral region absorbed will change. Okay, we lost ourselves in colors, so subscribe for the rest.